diamonds are the ultimate symbol of luxury. Tighter control over the trade should prevent the financing of civil wars through blood diamonds. Two years ago, the Kimberley process was enacted and the main exporters were forced to adhere to its terms. Each newly extracted raw diamond must get a certificate of origin that has a precise description of the gem. Without it, the diamonds cannot be traded on the international market. For selenium, the Kimberley process um, uh, is really to stop smuggling. For us, it's not just a conflict diamonds. Yes, conflict diamonds are over because the conflict is over. But smuggling is still on. And so when a smuggled diamond gets to any station, any country at all in the, in the world market, should not be entertained. The certificate has overall prompted positive reactions. But it is not without its critics. For now, diamond trading is almost exclusively in the hands of government, which lends itself to corruption. Working with the main diamond producing countries in the world to enforce the Kimberley process. Antwerp in Belgium, the diamond market here is the world's greatest center for diamond trading. 80% of all of the gems are traded here. But thanks to the Kimberley process, in future, blood diamonds won't be sold here anymore. Not sufficient. This 70 carat diamond should yield one diamond at 25 carats and another one at 15 carats. That whole process should take four months. The Antwerp diamond industry is characterized not only by its age old craftsmanship, but also by the use of latest technologies. The application of the scientifically developed drawing program enables the diamond worker to get the most out of the rough stone, always taking into account the final weight and the perfect cut. Sawing diamonds is mechanical work that requires pure craftsmanship. Careful mounting of the diamond on the sawing machine, constant dusting with diamond powder, inspection of the stones, and so on. Sawing a rough diamond can take hours, days, or even weeks because a sawing machine saws at best two millimeters of diamond per hour. Thanks to the technological and scientific progress in this field, diamonds can now also be worked with a laser, as we can see here for drawing grooves. It's a practical and accurate tool to prepare for the cleaving of the stone by the experienced cleaver. Furthermore, the laser is also used to saw the diamonds. The laser makes it possible to divide the diamond at any angle. The diamond can be shaped in whichever way we wish without having to take the stone's growth direction into account. The laser adds a new dimension to the diamond saw's work in terms of accuracy, speed, and flexibility. The diamond is ready for bruting. The diamond is rounded, ready to be faceted into one of the many shapes, for example, brilliant, pear shape, marquee, or oval, the basis for the finished stone. Another asset of modern technology is the use of automatic brooding machines. As in traditional brooding, two stones are rubbed against each other until the diamond acquires the desired shape, the girdle. It's no longer necessary to interrupt the process. Time, precision, and quality profit by this new system. Staying at the top is the motto of the Antwerp diamond industry. Polishing gives the diamond its final shape. The stone has nearly completed its long journey. The diamond will be given a brilliant pear, oval, marquee, heart, baguette, or other fancy shape. All in perfect symmetry and proportions. A fine example of craftsmanship. The diamond now.